Hi guys, I'm Adam Caesar, uh, and this is the second episode of the uh, Project Black T-shirt video series. For those of you who didn't watch the first video, uh, a little bit about myself. Um, I write horror, I write novels, novellas, short stories. I really like horror movies. Uh, so each episode I try to talk about uh, one uh, new movie release that could be either VOD, DVD, Blu-ray. So far they've all been Blu-ray. Um, one new release can be new or archival. Um, and one book. I like to pair one book with it because I'm a literacy guy. I like people who read. I like uh, horror fans that read. Today's episode is about um, two movies actually because it's a double feature release. Uh, Severin Films just put this out. It is Axe and the Kidnapped Coed. Both films by Frederick Friedel, um, who is a very, very interesting dude if you watch the uh, special features on here, of which there are many. Um, he made, a, it seems like he made a, a couple movies, but he made these two really back to back, and he shot them in North Carolina, which is not exactly um, what you think of as the Hollywood of the South, um, and he shot them in 74 and 75, kind of back to back. And although they're shot back to back, they feel like, um, a filmmaker who is getting more and more confident as he works. Um, you watch Axe, which is the more horror flavored of the two. They're both actually not, not exactly what I would call horror films. If anything, they are um, crime films or noirs. Axe was actually on the um, the video nasties list, uh, which is uh, in the in the 80s um, with the VHS boom um, and uh, the rise of uh, conservatism. In, uh, in Britain, uh, they, they banned a bunch of movies, effectively. Uh, they knocked them off the shelves. Uh, some of them were justifiably kind of, or, well, you never justifiably ban a movie, but some of them were the kinds of movies they wanted to go after, and then some of the movies seized and banned uh, were like things like Best Little Horror House in Texas with Dolly Parton and Burt Reynolds. Um, not really uh, what they think of it. They were just kind of grabbing stuff by name and raiding these video stores and getting rid of these movies. Uh, but X found itself on that notorious list. There were, I think there were 39 movies that were actually banned, and it's one of those. Um, and if you watch it today, um, you're kind of going to think, why? Because uh, it's, 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 uh, it's very subtle. It's a very well-made movie, um, but it does, not, it does not feel like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It does not feel like an Evil Dead. It's not a splatter picture. Um, it starts out, these three uh, criminals on the run, they've got a hole up somewhere, they, they stop at a small town, they home invade a, um, a, a young girl, a teenage girl, and her grandfather. Um, her grandfather is a, in a canatonic state, he's kind of like, he's a quadriplegic, he depends on the, on the girl to feed him and, and bathe him, um, but we're not sure what their deal is. It seems like something's off with them. And as this kind of uh, noir plot unfolds, these three bad guys on the run, it slowly turns into a horror film because we realize that Linda, the uh, girl who they're shacking up with, is crazier and maybe more violent uh, than all three of these guys put together. Um, so that's X, and uh, Kidnap Coed is uh, it's probably the, the subtler, the more subtler of the two, probably the um, the more artsy of the two, uh, and probably just an all-around better film. Um, it's a guy kidnaps a co-ed, um, and they set off on this, this kind of weird odyssey. Um, and it's worth mentioning, these are both very short movies. Um, I think they're both kind of, uh, 70 minutes, um, which wouldn't even be feature length today. Um, but you watch them and you, you really appreciate that, that economy. These movies are just so damn good looking. This is such a good release. Um, and... They're both movies, I think, that were released through Something Weird Video. And not that I don't love Something Weird Video, not that they weren't very formative. Buying those image double feature DVDs uh, exposed me to a lot of stuff. I had not seen either of these uh, back with their original releases. Um, but they're, they're really, really interesting, smart movies. Um, and, and this guy, Friedel, um, he's a really interesting, smart guy. Uh, it seems like because he was making these ki this kind of outsider art um, in North Carolina with largely the same cast and crew, 
for both films, um, and they just they feel like polished real movies. Severin's back of the box uh, kind of uh, advertising materials uh, say, hmm. but as fans and critics have begun to compare Fidel's films to those of David Lynch and Terrence Malick, yeah, I, I, I kind of do see David Lynch and I kind of do see Terrence Malick, especially in the, especially in the second film, especially in Kidnap Coed, you, you really see Badlands and uh, Wild at Heart and, and, and films like those. But um, the, what struck me about Axe was uh, that they don't mention uh, Sam Peckinpah. Uh, the first film uh, feels very much like a, a riff on Straw Dogs, and a very interesting riff on Straw Dogs, where, where Straw Dogs is a movie that um, I think wrongly um, sometimes gets labeled as misogynist. Um, Axe, is, is, is made only a few years later, <laughs> seems like um, a little bit of the, you know, a little bit more of a feminist answer to Straw Dogs, because neither of these movies are, as, they're exploitation films of these, these covers, as you can see, uh, these posters, as you can see, were very much in the exploitation camp, but these weren't, um, you know, this isn't, uh, you know, Last House on the Left, this isn't, um, these movies aren't overly graphic, they aren't, they don't feel like traditional exploitation in that they're, they're, they're actually pretty tame and they're actually pretty reserved. Um, so again, I think uh, I feel like Axe plays like somehow a, a not neutered, but a, somehow more uh, more tame and uh, and 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 uh, outwardly cerebral uh, version of Straw Dogs. Uh, I really like it. So that's Axe and Kidnapped Coed uh, out now from Severin. Uh, this uh, this release is, is stacked. It's got um, not only both the films on one Blu-ray. Um, it has uh, a, an audio CD that has the soundtracks to both films. It has a, uh, a like 40 minute uh, documentary about the guys that did the soundtrack. It has um, an interview with Stephen Thrower, uh, who wrote Nightmare USA, uh, a film critic. Uh, he places these movies kind of in their proper context. It's got audio commentaries on both films by the director. Um, if you buy it from Severin, I don't know if they're still doing this, but it comes signed by the director which is a pretty neat thing. Um, it's got a, a feature-length documentary about making both of them. It's, it's really amazing stuff, and that's part of why I wanna, wanted to talk about this movie, because um, even though, like I said, I think these are actually more crime movies than they are anything else, uh, I think they're interesting for horror fans because they show how movies like this got funded and got made um, back in the 70s, but it, it was a lot harder to make movies, and when you watch a movie so polished uh, and so interesting as, as these two, um, and then you watch crap made in people's backyards at the same time, um, and they were both getting, you know, they were both playing to like, you know, drugged out bums in uh, on Forty Second Street. You think like, wow, like some of those drugged out bums saw like real cool art movies uh, at the time, and and people were kind of smuggling their art into these movies. Um, so again, a really like exhaustive release, um, definitely worth uh, plunking down the money for. You get two movies you probably haven't seen before, and you get them placed in this uh, really interesting context and talked about like it's exhaustive. So no unanswered questions. That brings me to the book, which is uh, not a book at all, but an ebook. Uh, because the book, uh, it's, I think it's released through some kind of um, university press, maybe, or something like that. Um, it's called Regional Horror Films, 1958 through 1990, a state-by-state -state guide with interviews. Not the snappiest title. Uh, the author is Brian Albright, uh, but a, a really, really great uh, book. And the reason I have the ebook as opposed to the physical book is, one, because I like to read, um, you know, before I go to bed. So this is great because it's backlit. But also because um, the okay McFarland and Company Publishers, so maybe not a university press, but it's a very expensive print book. Uh, the ebook is like I think it's like fifteen bucks, which is still pretty expensive for an ebook. Uh, but it's if you're into these kinds of movies, if you're into the movies like Axe and Kidnap Coed, and you want to look and read about movies that were made outside of the Hollywood system, um, especially in the '70s and '80s, uh, this is a great resource. And I say resource because it's one part kind of encyclopedia reference guide and one part um, very readable like series of interviews. Um, so the first half of the book is uh, Albright sits down with a bunch of different uh, directors, uh, screenwriters, producers, people that got these movies made, 
and he basically asked them how they did it, what their experiences were, and they, they all have very different circumstances, very different stories, um, well, well worth it. Uh, and how can you go wrong with the Evil Dead on the cover of any book? Um, so check that out. Definitely check out um, Axe and the Kidnapped Coed, uh, the films of Frederick Friedel. Very, very cool disc. It's even got uh, a third feature, which is uh, the Bloody Brothers, which is he um, cut together Axe and Kidnap Coed because they have the same uh, star, so it's made into one kind of longer film. I did not watch that because I watched both films in their original um, cuts, but just another little interesting curio. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. This is Project Black T-shirt. I'm Adam Caesar.